How to be evil. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, start a new game. We do it on hard. And let's see which evil genius we're going to take. Maximilian... Alexis. Mm, elegant and beautiful. Adorable multi-millionaire heiress. Nah. Sh oh, inscrutable and mystical. Quixotic. Ah. Super criminal turned special agent turned evil genius. Okay. You know what? Let's go for the short fat guy. And here is our boat. Off to our new island complete. Complete with the short guy. So, let's see what happens. Now, obviously, uh, first state of the uh, evil lair. Oh, there we go. There's my boy. Humming in an evil and sinister manner. We like that. And uh, let's have a look. Ah, there's my henchman. Konnichiwa. So, uh, what we need to do then is figure out what we're going to do with this block of rock. So, I like to create a couple of entrances, but what I do is I create one entrance that's a main entrance, and one entrance that's a fake entrance. So, what we're going to start doing, I think, is putting in a corridor. So, we put a corridor down here, and then... Pause that. And then what we need to do is stick a exit out here. The furthest, there we go. Yep, there we go. So, what we can then do is link the two with a corridor. Now, this is just going to be a temporary link. Uh, it's not going to be there forever. It's just to allow easy access. Uh, we can put some various traps in place and cool stuff like that. So, there we go. We'll get those two built. Uh, by my lovely minions, who I will, as you can see, capacity 5 at the moment. Uh, we're going to turn that up to 5, and uh, we'll get them investigate, uh, get them in the case, on the case even. So, so basically what it is, is these are all the various minions, and you can get different types of minions later on. Uh, you've got to interrogate trainers in order to get those extra minion types. Uh, you'll see that later on in the game. Down here, we have the objective screen, which is where... Uh, we get all the various objectives, whether or not you've completed them, any optional objectives that might exist, and uh, so on and so forth. So there we go. Ensure a healthy minion force by building a barracks, one bunk bed and a locker. Before we can send minions around the world to carry out acts of infamy, we need to construct a control room. And there's also some pesky investigators which we need to snuff out. So those are the primary functions right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to build a base. So... As you can see, there's the base, and because I need to get access to the area, what this I'm going to do here is build a very temporary quick control room. Now, this is not where the control room is going to be uh, for the final base, but what I need is essentially something that will allow them to at least check to see what's going on in the world. Now, I can't put that there. I'll have to put the time clock there. So, we'll un unpause that and there we go so hopefully what will happen here comes one of the minions what they do is they get the dynamite and they blow the rock out there and then they construct it into a uh, nice metallic style uh, corridor so you're just about to see explosions there we go now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this particular game, this was actually published by Elixir. Now, Elixir, they um, unfortunately did not survive, but the people who helped design this were some of the people who worked on Theme Hospital. Um, one of my most enjoyable games, one of my favourites, I think, always enjoyed that. Who can't beat uh, projectile vomiting and bloaty head? So, there you go. There's the first corridor. So, we can use the middle mouse button. We can spin around and we can zoom. One thing that is quite helpful is you can actually set control positions. So you find a position you're after, like this, and you press control one. And so if you're somewhere else on the map, you're saying, hmm, what's this over here? Press control one, and it will take you back to this location and also the orientation that you were in. 
So if we move over here, spinny round, you see, there you go, changes it already. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to create a barracks over here, nice and big, but it's only going to be temporary until we get further into the base, probably put the barracks down here somewhere. What this means is that I can get as many men in, as many minions as I can in, and uh, essentially uh, get as many men so that I can start building stuff really quickly, getting money, all the rest of it, and I can deal with any kind of outbreaks that occur, agents that turn up, people to annoy me, things of that, get in the way of my evil plans. Now, this is obviously going to be a, a tricky base design, but what I need to do is on my main entrance... Uh, I've got to find a way to guard or t to stop people getting into the main area of the base because there's only going to be one entrance which is going to be this one. This one's going to be a fake entrance. We're eventually going to delete that section and what's going to go in here is what's known as an uber trap. Now the uber trap is a wonderful, wonderful thing and what it does is uh, it basically blows people round and round and round circles. Every time you go send an agent, an enemy agent, through multiple traps, you get bonuses, you get money. So it's a good way to basically keep people going round and round in circles and help generate money for you to uh, do your nefarious and evil schemes. So as you can see, oh, look, here we go. These are enemy agents. Norman Vaughan taking a closer look with his colleagues. So these are enemy agents which we will have to deal with. Um, but for the main team, uh, moment, there's nothing really to look at. All I have is a control room, which is like, ooh, exciting. So let's build a corridor down here. And just there, I think. So this is essentially where the Uber trap is going to be. Um, but this is essentially the format of how it's going to look. So what we're going to do is build that down here one more down there um let's just check to make sure that's the right size da, 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 da. okay so it's got to be basically one two three four five six so i think it's about there that we have the block in the middle so there we go um it could be that uh oh there we go the world map can now be accessed huzzah for the world map so um, what we're trying to do is just sort this out here. So it's supposed to be like three there and all the rest of it. So it could be, ah, here we go. I think I've done that a bit too far. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Because it's got to go like one, two, three, four, five, six. Otherwise they get hurt. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there. So, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. Um, let's see. Uh, do we have to go one, one down there? That might be it, actually. Go one there, one there. Hmm. See, this essentially is going to be like three squares all the way around, and then the Uber trap basically blasts them in there. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll create that one there. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'll be basically nine all the way around. Okay. So that's essentially what it's going to look like. But what we'll do is we'll take that spot out because that's going to be our temporary barracks so get building that temporary barracks boys and girls oh there we go top side shack not really much use and we've got a um a uh hmm, is that right one two one two three hmm, okay is that right i wonder if i built that too big no i think that's all right okay so um what we're going to do now is that's going to build and you can actually put stuff in here so things like um oh, buggering buggering bugger you know what i've done wrong i have built that when i don't need it because what i do need to do is stick in a barracks so the barracks goes in there like so so as you can see barracks 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 build that and then Inside, we can build loads of lockers. Okay, now, these lockers will allow us to have lots of minions. Okay, so, I'm just going to pepper this area. It's okay, only temporary been until been I get the main uh, barracks going. So, just build them pretty much everywhere. Okay, you can't build them too there. You see it goes red. So, we're going to okay, build it out of the way here. And then, we put in loads of bunk beds as well. So, we'll put a bunk okay, bed. Whoops, a daisy. Didn't want it there. Bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed. 
So if you put it there, they can't access it both sides. So you have to put it here. So we'll do it like that. So what we'll do is we'll find that one and remove it and find that one and remove it. And then what we'll do is we'll stick more lockers down here like that facing one way you hold down the shift key it keeps purchasing them and then we can turn it around like that so the primary reason for doing this is to get as many men as possible into this area and what we're also going to do is going to stick a door here to stop people sneaking around and the door there that's essentially going to be where the uber trap's going to be you're going to have two doors to get them interested in what's going on and then uh, go from there so essentially as you can see control rooms running and we've got five, capacity for five minions only so what we also need to do is build a gold storage area so let's build a gold storage room okay just down here for the time being there we go no this needs to be two so what we'll do is we'll build that and then once that's built we'll be able to get all that gold and that briefcase thing which is basically how they transfer the money in and out of the storage area to this new storage area and we'll then be able to move our evil genii who will actually move I now to be here. i need to be here so we'll move our evil genius now he's got a area of effect now what that area effect does is it actually improves the various stats on your minions so you see you've got your minions here you've got all the various stats like health and um loyalty and smarts and attention and endurance so um, as you can see his attention is not high uh, and they can get distracted by shiny things and all the rest of it and stuff like that um, and so this guy here basically will work on your uh, attention he'll work on your um, loyalty uh, so as long as uh, minions are within this area he will uh, be able to reinforce those stats for the minions and you'll see little arrows going up and down basically showing that they're being improved now there is another way for you to encourage the masses to do some work unfortunately we can't do it at the moment so as we're just about to blow a hole in the side of the wall so there we go unpause that there we go that sends one of the minions off kaboom 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 and uh we'll get to work so here we go. There we go. So there's the uh, storage room. So what we'll do is we'll move that in here. Now, there is a way to do this. Um, this is one good way, is it makes things easier to get in. But what happens is enemy, because there's no other access to that, enemy agents pop up here and they nick your gold and you can't stop them. So it'll be okay for the time being. We'll leave it there. And then what we'll do is once we destroy that room, they'll move all the gold into that room which is what we want. We want it inside our base, keeping everything safe and happy. As you can see, we're doing all right for money. Uh, we're doing okay for minions. Now, here's the uh, minion task, Evil Empire status. So as you can see, we're building quite a bit. We've got minions building, uh, you know, minions working. No minions training. This also keeps a log of how many minions you've lost, how many agents you've killed. You get tourists on this island. They think, oh, that's a nice island. I'll have a look around. And then you get to kill them. Uh, agents in prisons, active infamy, all the rest of it. Tells you how much money you're acquiring, how much money you spent. All the kind of details here for stats, for people who love their stats. Now, obviously, um, if we look on the uh, world, here is the world stage, as they like to call it. Now, what happens is there's your notoriety, which is basically we're harmless, we're zero. We are a zero. And it is all the various uh, areas of the world where you can do your acts of infamy. Heat basically means the amount of attention that you're going to get from the people who look after this. As you can see, Central Russia looked after by Hammer. It's up there. So there you go. Central Russia looked after by Hammer. So that's their agency that looks after it. You see Smash look after North Africa, Sabre, and they're all colour-coded. So Patriot look after the Midwest, and uh, obviously Smash look after everything that's yellow. Sabre look after everything that's green. Hammer look after everything that's red. Anvil looks after Central Asia, places like that. So what this means also is um, you can actually get money by having agents 
going there and swindling money out of people. So what we'll do, just as a start, um, let's see, let's send them to Russia. So you click on Russia and then click on that and what will happen is you can have an option to basically do plot for new uh, missions. So they gradually uh, uncover different acts of infamy. Uh, you can steal money and that tells you how much money you're stealing down there. Or you can have them hide so that they don't do anything but it could be possible that there's an enemy agent there who's trying to track you down so ah here we go oh look what's this let's get our boy over Heron, rising sword technique rising sword technique he is going to assassinate all of them right here we go come on let's see the punch up there we go out comes the sword Mass punch up. There we go. So we've got a new room, which is a freezer because he's assassinated somebody. An agent has been killed, leaving behind a body bag. So that's what these are. So come on, kill him. There we go. All dead. So that's good news. But the thing is. If you look at that, can you see there's an effect going around the body bag? That means that that will actually affect your minions. Uh, and you can see little arrows basically shows their attention and their smarts going down. So what I'm going to do, sorry guys, but I'm going to move your body bags outside. So the effect on my boys is as minimal as possible. So let's put that out there. Now we've just built the barracks, which is good news for us. We, as you can see there, so da 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 da, we've eliminated, oh, train civilians holiday in the island, capturing imprisoned and made in security holding cell. So, uh, we're going to lock up some poor uh, lady who's just out to clean things. New room blueprint. an armory, very nice. And holding cell, very nice to put the maid in. Lock the maid up. And uh, there we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this strong room because we don't need it anymore. So there we go, that's going to demolish, they're going to turn that into just a blank space. And then all the gold will start going pop, 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 pop here. So as this increases, see the bunk beds and the lockers and everything. You can see, there we go, the minion capacity has increased. So we just have to update it here. Now you can choose if you've got enough money to recruit. Uh, you can say, okay, it will cost me 4,000 to recruit a new minion every one second. Um, but obviously that means the money goes down quickly or you can just leave it to recruit one minion every 60 seconds and it doesn't cost you anything so you know the question is how impatient are we so as you can see that's going up quite quickly but the money is also going down equally quickly the minion count also going up so we're going to stop that there for the time being and you'll be able to see all our lovely minions here we go here's all our lovely minions coming in to do their minion -y things so our evil genius is in a safe place and what we need to do now is figure out what to do so what we need now is an entrance to the base now if we have a look at a corridor we're going to do bring it round here like this here we go but bring it down so this is basically like a a turn round corridor here so basically they come in they go oh like that that's going to be a blank area eventually so what we'll do then is there's going to be a little area that's going to go down here which means our corridor goes there so that's going to be the main corridor showing the entrance into the base now what we're going to do is there's going to be like a door there and a door there and stuff like that so um we're also going to do is have little doors down here like that okay so i think actually hmm no 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 i think i might be right with that so these are essentially just going to be doors in front now what you can do let me show you what i mean let's just build that for the time being if you look at these doors see that that's essentially means anyone can use this door that's only for minions and that's for evil self and that means basically you also you can have people standing in front of that door guarding it so what does that mean what that means is we put a row of doors down here and just have minions standing in front of it so any enemy agents that come through they've got to walk all the way through here and uh, basically make run the gauntlet of loads of your agents so 
you don't have to worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double check to make sure everything's okay. We can put a door there and then the door there. That should be fine. Okay. Now, what we've got next is the room to the next section. So what we're going to do is I'm going to build it as a three-way corridor. Now, um, what that means is that uh, when you get additional items, you can put them in the middle there. People can walk around them, they'll get, you know, bonuses and all that kind of funky stuff. So, we'll wait until this is built. Now, you also have down here your power usage. So, as long as that's green, illegal room, go away. Um, it's illegal, basically, because um, you can't move it anywhere. So, come on, destroy that thing already. Um... But what we can do is you can set traps. Now, these are the various traps you can set. There's a pressure pad sensor that you can then link in to uh, allow you to uh, set off the trap. So you've got poison gas. If the forces of justice are causing you trouble, why not create some devious traps to deal with them? Remember, you'll need to link your traps to sensors or they'll never get triggered. There we go. So essentially, you would have various different traps. You've got a wind machine trap. Uh, they can blow people uh, out, out of your building. You've got a confusing pop-up trap uh, that uh, drains their smarts. And you've got a crash test dummy, which you can use, that enables you to basically test your traps. So there are more traps later on that can be unlocked. Um, it's just a matter of uh, unlocking them, which we will do over time. We are looking forward to some trap unlocking later on. So... We are watching all our minions. At the moment, they're building that. As soon as they've built that, they'll start blowing out these rooms. Now, obviously, my power is not that high, but I don't have power yet. So, we'll get there eventually. Now, next section here, I think I'm going to put the armory. And round the side of the armory, I'm going to put the freezer. Because what you've got to do is, these body bags here get stuck in the freezer. You stick them in the freezer, it minimizes the effect of the uh, the negative effects of the body bag, but also people don't see them, because if tourists see body bags, they'll freak out, obviously. So as you can see, our second, our main entrance to the, uh, to the base is now being set up. Uh, there we go, we can see, there we go, big explosions and everyone's taking cover. That there was a big explosion. There we go, tarpaulin over the top of it, all being made, all sorts of funky stuff going on. And there we go, a corridor. We love the corridor. So, what we're going to do, put a door there and a door there. Now, you also have things like fire extinguishers because what happens is they do, enemy agents do blow things up and things catch fire and there's explosions and uh, things like that. So you've got to have a fire extinguisher nearby. So. What we're going to do then, down here, in the corridor, we're going to stick a door here. Object purchase order confirmed. And if you hold down shift, you can Object buy multiple order. of the same thing. Like that, you see, you can, we could even put one there if we wanted to, but there's no point. Object purchase Just order confirmed. blocks the area up. So there we go. Now, the reason I haven't built one there is because I'm going to put a rest area there, which I'll get later Room on. construction unpaused. And essentially, the good thing is, is that I'll have, uh, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll extend that gold area down to there, so the entrance is no longer at the front of the base. So if I get anyone walking down here, they won't go, "Ooh, gold! I'll have some of that." So we are looking at building this next one, and then the entrance to the barracks. So if we spin round here, what we need to do is find the freezer now. I'm thinking first the armory. If we put the armory like that. And then what we can do is put the freezer. Can we go that far? Yeah, we can. Round like so. And then a little corridor into. Backup power drain. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm out of power. New rooms are available for construction. Oh look, now they give me power once I've gone out of power. That's nice. So, let's make a quick temporary room. Get the power in fast. New so, 
What you can do is, let's see if we can get that in there. Yep, yeah, we can. Battery to cover any downtime. Can we get any more in there? No, that'll leave it for the time being. So, what you can do is you can get your evil genius to come over and say, this. Must work harder. There we go. This is the priority. So we want to get the power. Now, if, if you don't have any batteries, your power goes out completely or your doors open. So that basically means you have no security. Um, if you have multiple batteries until your power goes back up, everything will turn red. Doors will still work but there will be a power drain so as you can see I've, I've set up devices to use 27 power but i only have 20 power available so let's unpause that and we should be building some stuff here so um let's get back to this build here now hmm. i'm wondering should i build that to there see there we're walking straight into the freezer where the bodies are but um, it means they'll be walking into the armory as well. So if we leave that like that, yeah. Build the freezer, and then build the thing. So what happens with the freezer is you can actually build racks. So, you know, three long like that, but they only have access on one side, so we can build them there, we can build them down here, and then we can build them along here and stuff like that. We can even build one there as well, but, you know, we'll see. Actually, come to think of it, if we... Pause that, pause that, and just remove a little bit of that, and then add in more freezer. We can put basically freezer, 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 freezer. So that'd be good. Now, so those are now building. So at the moment, these guys are building this section because that's what we've asked for. There's the explosion, and the power will be in there eventually. So, this is the start of the evil base. The base of evil where many evil things will happen and many strange goings on. What we're going to do is we're going to make that into a quick corridor and we're going to build a trap to attract any enemy agents. And what we're going to do is we're going to put confusing pop-ups in here. So if we zoom in a little bit, that shows the direction it's going to point. There we go. And then what we do is we'll put Object has been ordered. There you go, sensor pads. And what we'll do is we'll put a door on the front. Now this is an external door, so it's slightly more armoured. So there you go. Confirmed. Now what you have to do is when you set up traps, you have to set up a link mode. Now essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna link that to that. Let's have a look. Can we link that to that? No. We've got to link that to that, that to that, that that and that to that so they step on this pad it will go to that one they step on this pad it will go to that one they step on this pad block exactly you see this sort of thing so that's now in link mode and you can change that when they step on it you'll see the electric signals go through and do all that kind of funky stuff so as you can see he's just about to blow a hole in that building and we shall see we have power the lights are back on hallelujah so we can start building frigid air and uh, our other area and so as you can see it's all looking good doors are in place doors are in place unfortunately we don't you can't set these minions to guard this area we have to have guards now obviously the question is where's that maid there's the maid so she's wasting time Ugh, maids and uh, we're going to go back to our evil genius base and see, let's see how many men we've got available. Oh, look at that, 46 men. But oh my God, we've only got 9,000. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn that right up to 46. And we're gonna send some of these minions out. As you can see, we're only getting 200 income. So thank you, funds are low. Thank you. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send uh, two minions there, two minions there. We'll send two minions out here. Basically, all they're going to do is pill for money and get me get me money, damn it. Oh, that's a mission. So we get to do that mission, but you need four workers in order to do it. Um, and obviously, it won't tell you what heat or notoriety because we don't have anybody in the control room, as you can see. So, we're going to get some people out there. And the next part that you will see of how to be evil will be continuing on from this point as we build the Frigidaire area, the armory, what will be the new barracks, and the rest of what will be an awesome base.
Ha 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 